Floor toms are often the most guilty of not sounding good. Whether it's a head issue or a tuning issue, it often lacks the depth, body, and low end that we desire. And it can also just be straight up hard to tune. Today I'm gonna to give you eight possible causes of a lousy floor tom sound, and I'll give you some possible solutions. Then I'll demonstrate how I tune my floor tom, and we'll talk about head types also. We'll finish with the real reason why I think your floor tom might be frustrating you. So let's get started. Hey, if you're watching this and you're new to the channel, I want you to know this channel is for you. If you wanna get better at drums, we're all about growing as drummers, getting better at the drums, doing whatever we can, every little thing to improve at our craft. So if you haven't subscribed, I hope you will. So I'm gonna move through these reasons pretty fast because I've gotta save time for giving you some demonstrations at the end when we're gonna talk about how I tune my floor tom and talk about some different heads because that also plays an interesting factor in this. Reason number one is simply that you've got lousy heads on your floor tom. Maybe they're the stock heads that came with it. Uh, maybe it's say a pearl kit and the heads say pearl and there's nothing on them about Remo or Evans or Aquarian or any respectable drum company. It's probably safe to say that they're stock heads if that's what came on it and that would definitely explain why they don't sound very good. Obviously the simple solution to that is replacing that head. Buy any decent head by Remo, Aquarian, Evans, etc. and it's gonna sound a lot better than that stock head. Or maybe you've been playing this kit for a long time. Maybe it's had good heads on it but those heads are just worn out. When a head gets very worn out, it's gonna lose a lot of that warmth and resonance and it could lose some of that low end body if we're talking about a floor tom. So if your heads are looking like these here in this shot, then it's probably safe to say that they're worn out and you just need to replace the head and that can make a world of difference. Cause number three, the resonant head isn't tuned well. The overall resonance and body of the drum really comes from that resonant head. You can tune the top head really low, but you've gotta have that resonant head at the right tension to really bring about sustain in that drum. So it's not just a low thuddy dead sound, unless that's what you want. Now the tuning of the resonant head depends on the head we've got on the top, which is what we're gonna talk about later. So we're gonna go ahead and move past this point knowing that we're gonna come back to it. We're gonna talk more about resonant head tuning. Just know that the resonant head has to be tuned a certain way, probably based on that top head and what kind of head that is or where you've got it tuned. Cause number four, Either head isn't in tune with itself. So one of the basic rules of drum tuning 101 is just making sure that each lug is in tune with itself. An easy way to do that is to finger tighten until you can't tighten it anymore with your fingers. In that case, you've at least got each screw to the same tension. And so that really gets you off to a solid start for making sure that each part of the head is resonating the same pitch if you tap it. But yeah, if you don't have either head in tune with itself, you're gonna get some weird humming, some weird overtones that maybe you don't want. You almost always want as much resonance and fullness out of a tom as possible. Cause of a bad floor tom sound number five, you've got too much muffling on it. It's very possible that you've gotten into the habit of maybe putting a few moon gels on it or putting a lot of tape on it or even some other kind of like moleskin or fabric or something you've got taped to it. Again, this could be a sound you're going for, a really muffled sound but I always want as much resonance as possible. So I've never put any kind of muffling on my floor tom. I've played on some toms on house kits that have a little bit of muffling and I feel like it damages the overall sound quality potential of that drum. Cause number six, the batter head isn't actually tuned low enough to create the body that you're wanting. The reason that can happen is because sometimes if we're tuning that batter head really low, so we've got a nice loose thuddy kind of feel that we like, but because the resonant head isn't tuned where it's supposed to, we end up correcting the lack of resonance by tuning the batter head up. And then by tuning the batter head up, we start to get some weird ringing and we start to lose low end and our floor tom just begins to sound like a messed up rack tom, which you'll see and understand a little more when I show you some stuff in a minute. If we want low end, we've gotta be able to tune the batter head low, which will determine how we're gonna tune that resonant head also. Cause number seven, and this one seems pretty obvious, but you might actually have to really pay attention to your playing to see whether or not you're doing this. Make sure that you're hitting the drum in the center. If you're not hitting your toms in the dead center, you're not gonna get the maximum body and fullness. Fullness is the word I like to use for this. If you're hitting near the edge, then your tom sound could be less than ideal, even if you've got good heads that are tuned well. You've gotta make sure you're hitting it right. 
And reason number eight, which leads us into this next portion of the video, maybe you've got the wrong type of head on the drum for the sound and style of music that you're going for. Maybe you've got a head that's too thin for the punchy rock sound you want, or maybe you've got a head that's too thick with too much attack for the more resonant and mellow jazz sound that you want. I think this can be the real reason behind a lot of floor tom tuning frustration because maybe you're trying to get a sound out of the head that you've got that that head isn't capable of producing. I've definitely experienced this and you'll see this as I'm tuning up my floor tom. So let's jump over to this. First, I'm gonna start off by putting a Remo coated ambassador on my floor tom. This is a one ply coated head and I think it's a great jazz head, but I'm not a huge fan of it for rock and you'll see why. I'm gonna end up switching it out with an Evans Clear EC2, which is a two ply head. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Subscribers, thank you for watching my videos. And if you haven't subscribed, I hope you will. I hope you found this video helpful and I hope you find a lot of my other videos helpful also. I'm all about helping you become a better drummer. If that's something you're interested in doing, join this community and we'll all grow as drummers together. I always love hearing from you guys in the comments, so tell me which head in this video you liked more, whether you liked the Remo Ambassador or the Evans EC2. Tell me what your favorite head is, how you like to tune your floor tom. Let me know if this helped you out, or feel free to give some extra advice you've got for maybe somebody else in the comments who is looking to improve their floor tom tuning. So let's try and get a conversation started. That would be awesome. Thanks everyone for watching, and I will see you on the next video.